Hi, this week you will be making veal burgers. Now veal is just like beef. It comes from the same animal, but it's a lot younger, which means the meat is going to be a lot more tender. And instead of being red, it'll be pink. Now you have your veal kit where I've given you pickles, ground veal, lettuce, cheddar cheese, a tomato, your brioche bun, mayonnaise, ketchup, and to hold it all together, you have a skewer. Now you're also going to need some kind of grilled spatula to flip your burger and a pan to cook it in. Let's start by heating up your pan. Let's melt a little bit of butter and then we can toast our bread. Once you get the nice toastiness you're looking for, go ahead and set it on a plate and do the other part of the bun. Now the pan is ready for your meat. I have already shaped your patties for you and added salt and pepper and Worcestershire sour sauce. But if you'd like to shape it some more or add some more stuff to it, feel free. So I'm just gonna take it out of the bag and place it in the pan. And I'm gonna smash it a little bit as well. So it's nice and flat. And of course, now I need to wash my hands. While we're waiting for the meat to cook, let's go ahead and put some mayonnaise on and spread it with a knife and your ketchup and spread that with a knife as well. Add some lettuce. Cut your tomato slices with a serrated knife and add those tomatoes to your burger. Remember that if this is for somebody other than you, Make sure to wear gloves when you're touching ready to eat food. And remember veal is pink because it hasn't gotten as much exercise and it hasn't eaten any solid food. Let's go ahead and flip it. You can see that the gray is a little bit towards the middle. It's time to flip it. Now make sure to have your thermometer handy because we need to cook any ground meat to at least 155 degrees internally. Okay, let's go ahead and check. We always want to put the thermometer into the thickest part. Make sure it's not touching the pan. And we are good. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this off the heat. I'm gonna go ahead and add some cheese to the top and let it melt, but I'm turning the flame off. Okay, let's go ahead and let this melt. We could put a lid on it to make it melt faster. Once your cheese is melted, we can go ahead and stick it on top of the tomatoes. And then we're gonna top that with some pickles. It's up to you how many pickles you want. And then we just need to put the top on. Now we would want this to stay all in one piece for our customers, so we're gonna go ahead and finish it off with the skewer. It's important that we never put toothpicks into food that are not obvious, because then people can bite down on them and hurt themselves. So it needs to be obvious that it's not food and obvious that it's in the food. And that is your veal burger.